Mmm, fresh out the oven. Dino D Day or anything else. Most things, unless I know Unch Uncharted Two had a weird Kingdom Hill in which the the hill actually would move from place to place, which was kind of cool, but at other times kind of dumb. Because you had to capture the hill, and then the other team had to recapture the hill. If your team had the hill capped, you got points. But then the other team had to uncapture the hill, and then if they failed at uncapturing the hill, the hill wouldn't move. If they uncaptured the hill. They wouldn't start getting points. The hill would then move, and then someone else would have to grab it. Similar, I guess, to Headquarters from Call of Duty, if you remember that back in the day, when that was actually good before Headquarters Pro came out and this became a whole camp fest. I love playing hardcore Headquarters on COD 4. But then they came up with Headquarters Pro, and they ruined it. Amazing camp fest. Well, this game is enough of a camp fest by on, on its own, but this game is the uh, this this mat game the, the if I can come up with words, this is deathmatch. This game type, I would have not this game type. This map. One of these days, I want to figure out what I'm trying to say. This map is the least campable, and I would say the mo one of the most fairest maps for both teams. Crap, there are guys over there. My team's all over here, and their team's all over there. Anyway, it's one of the most even and fairest maps in Dino D-Day. That works for pretty much any game type that it has, which is King of the Hill and Deathmatch. So that's why this map is fairly popular. Other maps don't always work for everything. I see you. Okay, you're just going to tear me up. Nice. Other maps don't always work for any everything. Snowy Park, I'd have to say, is the least least liked and by every, pretty much everybody map. It used to be the worst map for, that I would say was on the map was Fortress. That, that was in the game was Fortress, but they they changed up Fortress. They fixed Fortress up, so it's not as bad. As, but so now, Snowy Park pretty much takes the place as the worst map in Dino D Day. Why? Because it's just it's hard to see and it's very campable. And although there are ways of getting out of the, the uh, spawn camp, that requires usually teamwork and actually not just following everybody else out or running out in the middle of the open, which is what everyone primarily does. Because you do have those two things on the side for Snowy Park. You have those two other ways. There are actually three ways to get out of your spawn area. Most people only ever see the one, and that's all they ever use. So it ends up usually being a big camp fest with that. And it has to be that dark and that foggy because I think I explained this before. I don't remember if I did or not. But that's how they're able to have as many trees in that map because they have the fog up so high. So you're not rendering all those props. Because if you're going to render all those props at once and the fog wasn't that high, then yeah, good luck. You better have a freaking amazing computer. It would take a long time to compile, and you would need an amazing computer, because you would have to have all those props running at once. Why do I keep getting random lines? You're my team? Yes, you are. I saw somebody. See you! Nice. I want to turn up... I can't hear the announcer. Would that be music or game volume? Game volume. I don't want to turn that up too much. Let's just turn it up to there. I'll find out that's too loud later. I wish there was a way to turn the effects, just to have the sound effects on one instead of just music and game volume, but having the sound effects on one and music on another. And maybe a voice or announcements. Another one. But that's way too loud. That shooting is way too loud. That's gonna have to get go that's gonna have to get turned down. There we go. But anyway. I don't get to hear old Alvin or Alan whatever the heck his name is. I wanna say Alvin von Richthofen, but I know that is not his name. 
I don't know why I want to call him that, but I do. He, I know he says his name, or the name of the character, somewhere when his speech, but I can't hear it. For some reason, I want to say that, but I know it's not because I remember Rick Tovin is the guy from Nazi Zombies from Call of Duty. So I know that's definitely not... It's not that. But I can't... I can't put my finger on the name. I know it's Alvin Von something. Maybe someone can slap that in the comments over. Just slap it on in there. Slap it right in those comments. Let me know what his name is. Anybody up here? Anybody up here? Anybody? Anyone? Anyone? Anybody? Huh? Somebody? Nope. Darn it. Oh well. I guess we'll have to go looking elsewhere. Things to okay. Hey there. Oh, saved him! And, uh, saved him. He's floating right now. Something just blew up on me. Medic! Heal me. Thank you. Whoa. Whoa. Spit. Gotcha. Oh, my temp and I overheated, though. Heard that spit. This game needs a tutorial, kind of, for people who don't really know what they're doing. With the new bots that were introduced for servers that have to be actually initiated on servers for the bots to be there. They're not they're not on the official servers because they're not complete 100% bots. They're just kind of something that's there for you just... They're there enough for you just to mess around with. They're not released as the 100% bots. Let me get some Ah, oh, darn it. Didn't really matter. Anyway, I don't know if they're going to be working more on the bots that they released or not. But they're kind of there, so that if you want to put them on their server, you can. But you don't—they're not forced on anybody. They're not forced on a server, and hopefully, supposedly, when they finish up making the bots, if not all the bots. I see you. They finish up making all the bots. Right now, they only have ones for the dinos. When they finish making all the bots for the human characters and everything, they're going to put out a—at least that's what's been either speculated or said from the forums. They're going to... Oh, someone's saving him. They're going to add an offline... Offline game that will have... You're going against bots. Similar to how TF2 has offline... Where you go against bots. They're going to throw that in. And then eventually... The plan... The big plan for the bots. The reason why they're really working on them in the first place. The big plan for them is survival mode. Wow, really? And there's no way that I can... Yeah, great. Is to throw in some sort of survival mode. Incorporate some kind of survival mode. There's not really been too much discussion on what that's going to be, or too much what's been revealed, what that's going to be on the forums, because that's a ways away, because they got to really do a lot to the game to get survival mode put on, or working. But that's why they're making bots in the first place. Because in survival mode, the other non-you people... Heal me. Heal me. You know, you can just alt-click. Or right click and heal me a lot faster. Anyway, for survival mode, you gotta have bots. I mean, the things you go against in survival mode, they're not going to be played by people. So you need bots. And to make those bots, if you're gonna make them, they might as well throw them in multiplayer, since they're already gonna spend the time to make the bots in the first place, they might as well keep using them. There's no reason just to make them for survival mode and then only leave them in survival mode. When they can be used for other things as well. Yeah. Yeah. Might be overheated, but I can still attack! Ah, nether balls. I almost had them. Almost had them. A medic over there. Axis victory. What was the ending score? I could have sworn that we were doing at least half decent. Calling some BS on that. I know his number. 
I will call him. Don't don't think I won't call BS. Oh hey! What's up? That's the second time people got to jump on me as soon as the thing starts. They're just there when I'm not expecting them to be there. Let's play Kurt. Haven't done some striker yet today. Let's get some striker notion going. Actually try to use this car. Um... You coming back? I'm gonna have to go over there and get you. I'm gonna have to go over here and get you? Where'd you go, Nigel? Ah! Well, I got one. The other day, I got a really nice jump headshot with this thing. It was really pretty cool. How did I not hit that? Tell me that, Batman. How did I not hit that? Should have hit that. Didn't hit that, but I should have hit that. Chopper's back. Apparently, there's a guy named Chopper, and he's back. Gotcha. The iron sight, iron sights for this gun are pretty crappy, but then again, they're kind of supposed to be crappy. I got you in the face. Actually, I did. That was a headshot. And I do. How is that not hitting? The crosshair is right on him. That hit. I'm gonna die because of the fire, but that hit. It's like the the hitbox. For some reason, that gun seems to have some weird, awkward things with hitboxes. It's like sometimes it looks like since my cross my crosshair is on him, it it, it look, at least it looks like my crosshair is on him, whether it is or not. It seems like the shots should hit, and they don't. And other times, I don't even understand how I hit them at all. Whoa, hey, fire! In my face! Melted face! It was so pretty at one point, but look at that. Look at his face now. It's a face only a mother could love. Is he still back here? We're getting Nigel, old boy. Now he's well. That would have worked if I wouldn't hit the post. That would have been great if I wouldn't hit the post. Be careful! There's a guy up top over there. I can't get by without getting shot. Okay. You're on fire, sir. Why didn't you just go over here to the health pack? It's a great, good health pack right over there. Just asking for you to take it. I don't know who I got shot by. Seriously, there was a fresh, fantastic health pack right next to you, ready to give you a hug while you're on fire, and you run away from it all the way back to the spawn point. Med packs are there to give you hugs, man. Don't run from your med packs. Don't run from your med packs. Oh crap, I'm getting shot. The buns. Speaking of hand packs, I could use a med pack. Or, or pack pack. Or health. They hit you. Thanks for being AFK. Oh no! Oh no, I'm on fire! Oh, toasty! Oh, it burns! It burns! Is he coming over here? Oh, I hear your flames. I fight fire with firepower! I'm dead. So much Nigel happening right now. 
so much Nigel. What's the score? Even. Very rarely is even. Oh crap, I'm gonna fall off. Is a guy? No. It's a shadow. Jumping at shadows now. Now where is that massive Nigel? There's one. Two. There's a Frank. Fortunately, I couldn't get him. But you know what? I had enough teammates there to deal with it. I'll let I'll let them get up. I'll be the nice guy. Oh hey. Ah, I wanted a headshot. Hey! Whoa! 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 Bullets! 